The 12 year old gauntlet. I was in a Facebook group years ago. One of our kids was about 12 and one of the homeschool moms was in there and she was like, somebody please help me with dealing with my 12 year old. And the way that my brain works, it works in pictures. It works in images where I can attach another lesson to it. It's why I spend a lot of time outside because there's so many connections to things that we need to learn in nature. But sometimes it comes in the form of a movie or a book, just something concrete that we can sink our teeth into. And suddenly, as I was talking to this mom in the comments, the image of the scene inside Captain America came to mind. And it is the perfect backdrop for the 12 year old gauntlet. As your kids are growing, it's very obvious that they're going from infancy to toddlerhood to little kidhood, and then they hit this wall sometime between the age that they're nine and 12. Our sons hit it right around the age 12. Now, most of what I'm gonna share with you about the gauntlet comes from the perspective of a mom and a parent of sons. Girls go through the gauntlet as well, but I can only speak to the reality of going through the gauntlet with a son, and I can hypothesize that girls go through this as well, because I went through this when I was 12. So anyway, your kids are going to hit this hormonal wall where suddenly their body and their brain takes over and starts to flood them with the hormones that are going to transform them from little cute kid to this teenager that looks like a mini adult, but they have to go through that awkward, quirky, weird middle school age where things start to smell and hair starts to come in different places and their body starts to not cooperate under different circumstances. And so as I was talking with this mom, it became very apparent that, you know, we, we're on one, our kids are on one side and the goal is to get to the other side. So childhood to young adult, but the goal is to get through that, that stage unscathed without broken bones, without bruises and without permanently damaging your relationships to everybody around you. It's why I call it the gauntlet, but the very best image that I can get that I can show you what it means is on my main blog, A Better Way to Homeschool, there is this post that I wrote back right at that time. Uh, so this was 2015. And it's basically how to survive a 12 year old. And I started it quirky and weird. You know, my son almost died because I almost killed him, even though I would never harm my children. This idea, this, the flood of hormones is so intense that it's, it, really can make you just second guess yourself as a person. But when you scroll down through, you're going to see that we, yes, in fact, have five sons, but we're going to talk about this hormonal change of a, of a young child that's going through this gauntlet. And there is this scene from Captain America. This is the perfect imagery to share, especially with your sons, but also with your daughters as well. And what you do is you pop popcorn and you watch this scene together. First, you just watch the scene just for fun. It starts out with a very wimpy Captain Rogers, this young boy, young man with this heart that wants to be all that he can be, wants to defend his nation, wants to be this valiant soldier, but his body is not allowing him to do it because he's weak and sickly. And so he gets strapped into this machine, flooded with first antibiotics, and then flooded with all of these chemicals that transform his body into Captain America, the, the physique of Captain America, where mm -hmm. the outward image meets what's on the inside. But the transition is incredibly painful and it causes a power surge. It causes sparks to fly. The mom figure in there is freaking out, like turn off the machine. And it's so much chaos and so much confusion. And then at the end, this thing opens and out comes Captain America. So step number one 
is to watch that scene with your kids with popcorn. Um, sure, you can watch the whole movie if you're a Captain America or Marvel fan, but at least this one scene. And then you say, this scene is exactly what's going on in your body. You are in the process of being transformed into the future you, the grown-up you, the young adult you, the man, the beautiful young woman, the person that you are destined to be. But you have to go through this process to get there. And we're going to watch it again, but I want you to pay attention. Because at first, it doesn't seem like a big deal. And then things start to happen that cause Captain Roger to flinch. And then this flood of stuff starts to go through. He's screaming inside. People are terrified that he's going to get destroyed in this transformation. Things are going to spark. Things are going to break. Somebody's going to be trying to save him. And another person's going to be there to celebrate when he walks out. So then watch the scene again through the lens of, this is what my child's body is going through. They are being transformed into their future self. Unfortunately, it doesn't happen as fast as this scene in Captain America. This transition takes a year or three for your kids and they need to understand this. So you watch this scene again and you can say, now we're going to watch it one more time because there's something in here that I think you missed. I want you to look at Captain America, the Captain Rogers before. Did he want to get to the other side? Yes. Did he think he could? Yes. Were there people watching him going through this situation, this, this transformation? Yes. Did other people want to save him? Pay attention. Who wants to save him? Who are the people that are trying to get this process to stop? And then when he comes out the other side, does he have anything to be ashamed about? So then watch the scene again. So this is your third time going through it. In this scene, your kid and you can clearly see that there is a chemical process that is happening that is transforming this wimpy person on the outside into this young adult or in this case superhero on the other side. They're fully confident that they can make it through. But people around them start to doubt the process and they even want to reach in and rescue them. Things spark things break. People are screaming. The mom figure is trying to turn off the machine or, with her words, but she's trying to get it to stop because she doesn't want to see this guy go through pain. When it's all said and done, when he pops out of the machine, he has nothing to be ashamed of because he went in with the purpose of getting to the other side. This scene is so intricately important for your kids because it'll give you something to grasp on when sparks fly, when the kids trying to push through, the girls trying to push through to do something that's hard and everything around is trying to get them to stop, but they know they need to keep pushing through. They're going to be able to have the words or this scene to lean on that'll help make sense of everything that is going on. So the scene from Captain America, everybody is represented in this scene. Number one, you have the child going through the transition. They want to go to through the transition and they want to get through with dignity. They want to get through with nothing to be ashamed of. You have the, the process being represented with Tony Stark, who is the one that straps Captain America in and, and floods him with all this stuff. You have the mom figure who is there for support and then tries to save him. And at the very end, you have the dad figure who kind of sits back and watches this whole thing from a distance. And then when he's done, he does swear, but he basically says, I knew he could do it. And so everybody's represented in this scene. And we're going to talk about that in the next video because it's important that we understand what everybody's piece is in this transformation is so that we can walk through with dignity and grace. So I'll meet you on the other side.